copyright infringement. There's some elements I think that are kind of obvious and some that are not so obvious. So let's start with the obvious. Okay, obvious uploading other people's music under their artist name or a different artist name is not okay. You will get what's called a DMCA takedown notice and we will say, sorry, we can no longer work with you. You will be banned. <laughs> Some of the less obvious examples of copyright infringement, using other people's original song, remixing it, which is a pretty common practice in the industry. That's copyright infringement, and a lot of people get that mixed up. So a lot of people I've approached, I've said, hey, you know, you're using this original audio, and they say, but I bought a license from you guys. Our cover song licensing does not cover sample use. That's what places like Tracklib are for. Here's the principle you want to go with. Remake all the sounds, recreate them, make a completely new audio recording. Don't use any elements of the original audio recording unless you have legally licensed it or you have an agreement with the person who owns the copyright to that sound recording. Some other examples of copyright or trademark infringement on the cover art itself, using trademarked images. What's the rule, Rebecca? Don't use them. Unless you have permission. Unless you have permission. If, if you can provide a signed permission, just like a sample, then you're good to go. Don't use the Nike logo. Don't use the Supreme logo. That's big right now. Definitely create your own cover art. Just don't use stuff that's already out there, especially not the source material from right. the stuff that you're covering. You're talented. You're creative. You can come up with your own stuff, even if you're covering other people's music.